Thank you, Jamie, for joining me today to talk about Lenovo's operational excellence in more detail as it relates to manufacturing and supply chain. You're relatively new to the role, so we'd love to hear more about your background and the role that you've taken on. Good morning, Charlotte. Um, yes, uh, my background coming from finance, as everybody aware, I've been working in finance more than 20 years before I moved to the uh, CEO for John Renko as an IDG uh, CEO. And then uh, what I'm good at probably is to combine the financial information with the operational data and to support to help drive the operational efficiency. We talk as a company about our operational excellence uh, being one of them being manufacturing and supply chain and being a core competence and a differentiator for us as a company. What makes us truly best in class in your eyes? Yeah, I think Nello is in a very unique position, right? Firstly, we are probably by far the number one PC vendor. Just want to give you some of the, the, the numbers to start with, because again, I'm coming from finance background. So last year, uh, the total PC globally increased by 45 million units compared to the year before. Among these 45 million units, Nello alone increased by 10 million, which is by far the largest vendor that increased in that scale. So I can, this is why you can see clearly from the numbers that we are much better than our competitors. In addition to PC, we also grow uh, our enterprise business more than 20, 25% year on year, which we are also pretty much the number one vendors in terms of the growth year on year. So why Nelobo is so unique? How can we uh, kind of a, uh, uh, much better than our competition is very clear in, in the sense that one, we have very strong footprint from the manufacturing point of view. We have a more than 35 manufacturing sites globally covered uh, in, in a different, uh, probably more than nine countries globally. And supply from the PC, desktop, tablet, uh, all the way to enterprises and mobile. Second, we are managed more than 2,000 suppliers directly. Uh, if you see our competitors, even the PC competitors, they are not directly engaged with such a big number of the suppliers. We have our in-house manufacturing like LOCFC, and therefore we are directly engaging uh, and maintain the relation with these 2,000 uh, suppliers. And therefore, to a certain degree, during the shortage of the IC, we have been getting much better relationship and then the coordination with this IC vendor, which is very critical. The third very important is that also you can see uh, during the pandemic of the COVID, uh, there are a lot of logistic challenges, right? We are pretty uh, flexible. Managing from the air, sea, rail, especially from Asia to Europe and also by truck. But very importantly, in addition to our uh, excellent of the supply chain, right? I think we have been continued driving the transformation, uh, especially on our supply chain. The dig digitalization of the supply chain is one of the key tasks that YY give to me. So in the, among any kind of innovation, I think the supply chain digitalization is one of the key that continue to drive Nelobo uh, to be uh, successful and in the leading position for the supply chain excellence. So what's the team really focused on in 2022 and beyond? We will continue to enhance our footprint. We are also going to uh, uh, enable our all the manufacturing side to be very much like uh, uh, AI enabling. Uh, and then the smart manufacturing is kind of a key. Uh, and then we want to drive uh, continuous success for there. I think uh, if we are talking about the innovation, uh, we continue to invest uh, in digital transformation. We use the predict, uh, predictive uh, analytical uh, uh, solutions. Uh, the AI, the blockchain, all these will be incorporated into our uh, manufacturing uh, solutions. And then uh, we are talking about continue to build the industrial 4.0 uh, manufacturing. The new uh, uh, manufacturing site in the South uh, China campus will be one of the very important that we are going to showcase not only to the, uh, the industry, but also to provide better service to our customers. Everybody always wants to ask the question, when's this component shortage going to end? When are things going to be better? So can you talk to that a little bit in terms of your outlook for the year ahead? Yeah. Um, I think this year we will continue to see the challenges still there. I mean, at least the first half of the year. However, what I want to assure the team here is that the demand on PC is pretty strong. And it's not only on PC, if I see from the enterprise demand point of view, the server storage, and even on our smartphone and even the tablet, uh, I would say probably from the demand standpoint of view, it's still pretty strong. And therefore, 
Um, I, I mean, I still expect that the, from the supply getting point of view will still be, be there, as I said, at least in the first half. So we see that the one device or even multiple devices per person has become a norm compared to in the past where you have a, uh, one PC per household. Today has uh, probably changed entirely, right? So personally, I don't believe the, the shortage will be disappear at least this year. But in the second half, we do expect to see a better uh, and then a much easier in terms of supply point of view compared to the first half. Um, just before we close, I just want to uh, get a view from you of one of your or some of your big ambitions and aspirations. Um, given that you're still relatively new to the role and at the beginning of the year, we always start thinking about future plans. So anything you can share with us today? Yeah, I think my goal is very simple. I want to continue to support uh, Nelovo to grow. Grow not only the revenue, but also the profit, but also to support the transformation, right? I mean, the, the three S strategy, and then we are going to shift from uh, like one West direction to shift from highway centric to be more service lead kind of a transformation company. So these are the all area as a group uh, operation officer where we want to support. Then uh, from uh, my very uh, practical task point of view, right? Digitalization is also the key. In addition to supply chain, I think SSG is also the area we want to put a lot of effort and try to support them. And then the digitalization um, SSG to enable uh, uh, the change of the business model is also key there. And then uh, uh, as you probably know that I also host the CEO uh, platform where all the major CEO from the BG and I'm pretty confident with their participation, we will connect better end to end from the BG, from the market uh, to the to the supply chain. And therefore, I'm pretty confident that we will be able to drive more efficient of the, co uh, the corporation and therefore drive the success. Thanks, Jamie. I think your confidence is definitely something that I share from having spoken to you today and can continue to see how our operational excellence is so fundamental to who we are and to our success. And that's thanks to the work that you and your team do. Thank you.